Hey everyone and welcome back to r slash am I the booty hole the subreddit where people post scenarios and commenters decide who's at fault today's post am I the booty hole for buying my fifth property rather than helping out my siblings for context even when I 44 male was a child I was incredibly into owning property and designing houses I work as an architect and am doing quite well for myself. Bought my first duplex here in Germany a long time ago where I rent out both parts. Then I own two houses in Italy and one in Spain. Two of them get rented out as holiday homes while the last one I use for vacations and rent out a room to a friend of mine. So I have a lot of passive income at the moment, but only after a lot of time and money investments and refurbishing of these houses. I rent in New York City at the moment as my job has made me move here temporarily. My brother, 48 male, lives in an apartment. He has a family with two kids while my wife and I are childless. They are currently looking to purchase a house that fits all of them nicely. While they have found their dream house, it's out of budget for them. Meanwhile, my wife and I are about to buy our fifth house, this time in France. It's going to be one of our largest purchases yet significantly larger than anything else we have done. It's a great deal on the property, however, and ideally what my wife and I want to retire in. When having a family FaceTime with my siblings and parents, I brought it up. Initially very happy for me, my brother mentioned how he needs a larger home for his family and how I should give up on this opportunity to give him money for his house and spend the rest on refurbishing their new home. I just laughed and said flat out no. Edit, I thought this was a joke. This was apparently the wrong move. My entire family turns against me and starts berating me. After 10 minutes of them taking turns telling me to buy my brother a house, I said I'd think about it and left. I am a bit of a pushover, so after talking to my wife, we agreed we could wait and buy their house and rent it out to them at no profit. Apparently, this was insulting to him, having his younger brother be his landlord, and my parents said I should just outright give him the money we have been saving. I told him to piss off and started moving forward with the paperwork on our house in France. After talking to my friends, they said I should put family first, and it's not like we are struggling for money. Now I'm confused. Am I the booty hole? Edit. This edit is super late, but I want to clarify, my brother does have money for a four bedroom house. He isn't broke, just not enough money for his dream house. The dream house is approximately double as expensive. Not the booty hole. You shouldn't have to pay for your brother's house. He should live within his means. Besides, money between family members can be a more dividing issue than most. Not the booty hole at all. For what it's worth, I'm your brother in my life. I have two kids in an apartment and just can't afford to purchase what we need right now. My sister-in-law just bought her third home and I'll admit there's always twinges of jealousy and the fleeting thought that it'd be nice if she'd help us out. But that's just me being a brat. Obviously, I'm not entitled to someone else's money. Absolutely not the booty hole. And on top of that, beggars can't be choosers. I find it insulting that they were insulted that you offered to buy their dream house and rent it to them for zero profit. Literally, first I was thinking, okay, might be a little harsh, but can still understand because some families do help each other out a lot more than others. But geez, he offered a very good alternative even after they'd been pretty presumptuous with outright asking for money and they rejected the very generous offer shows they aren't desperate, they just want luxury and a status symbol without spending anything and have it handed to them. If you really were struggling living in an apartment too small, you'd have jumped at that chance. You're the booty hole. I don't think you are necessarily a booty hole to your brother, but you're definitely a booty hole for effing with economies of countries you don't even live in by buying up properties, then either leaving them empty or renting them out as vacation houses, Airbnb almost certainly, therefore taking up needed space and pricing out locals. Having lived in both Europe and America, the not the booty holes you're getting are from Americans, mostly, who see this level of greed as morally neutral at worst. 
Nobody should own five effing houses. OP here. I'm upvoting this as it's a concern I've had a lot. My wife was the first to bring it up to me. The Spanish house is our vacation house, while the two in Italy are being rented out, but they aren't in big cities. They are run by an Italian charter company mostly, unless we book it. Our duplex is being rented out by some students and a young couple at the moment. We have stopped collecting rent from them given the current situation. From the offers my Italian houses have gotten, it seems larger corporations are the biggest issue in this field. Perhaps not, I'm no subject matter expert. The way I see it is that my impact is probably minor in the grand scheme of things. It is a problem, but real estate and design is my passion and livelihood. I have personally designed and refurbished all of these properties. We try to source locally during these projects too. I was once told the road to success is paved with moral ambiguity. It's hard to live in a world where success is praised, but the actions to achieve success are not always morally good ones. Not the booty hole. First off, I believe when there's an expectation of gratitude to the point of getting upset at not receiving it, it becomes greed. Plain old selfish greed. It's admirable you decided to turn the biggest gain in your homeowning career thus far into a gift for your family with a very reasonable landlord agreement. They are being ridiculously entitled for just assuming their better off relatives are obligated to give them a house for free. Edit, and I can't believe the irony behind them feeling insulted by having family be a landlord, but don't think it's insulting to demand a large amount of money from family just because they're more financially successful. Thank you for your comment. There are a couple comments here I'd like to respond to, but yours seems best to me. It's a bit of an upsetting situation for me, actually. They've used my holiday homes before free of charge, and I have college funds for his children and my sister's child. I bought his family an SUV when his second child was born. I think we are reaching the point where he thinks I'm more of a bank than a brother. Update. My wife and I discussed and thought you guys deserved an update after the clarity I received from my initial post. It feels therapeutic for me. It's been a bit of a wild month since then. We took in a lot of your advice regarding the situation, but it ended up even more chaotic than I expected. Shortly after the post and when the pandemic in New York got worse and worse, I ended up back in Spain. After having a conversation with my friend in this post, I decided I had made the right choice. We are moving forward with the house in France currently. Furthermore, we are deciding to sell the two Italian homes. We realized we haven't been there ourselves in a long time and it was only being rented out. This decision was twofold. Couldn't get some of the remarks from the last post out of my head and we wanted some liquidity given the economy. We also decided to only list with local real estate companies. On to my brother, who turned out not to be telling us the whole truth. A week after the post, his wife calls me asking to reconsider. Turns out there was a reason, but my brother didn't want to tell me. So I told her either he tells me himself, or I won't even consider anything. A week later, he ends up calling and tells me everything. It turns out he had developed a bit of a gambling problem the last two years, and has taken a noticeable percent out of their savings gambling. Less than 40%, but more than 15%, according to him. The dream house was now a lot further out of reach than it was meant to be. Apparently, he has been going to therapy for it for months, but the financial damage it did set them back far. My parents knew since the start, and I knew my brother was having marital problems a couple years ago, but I never asked why, as he and his wife were very secretive about the details. Turns out this was the problem. Apparently, my parents had told him to ask me, but ask for too much from me, so when he rebutted with a smaller ask, I would be more inclined to accept. Had an incredibly harsh conversation with my parents. They feel like I owe the family and it's more their money than mine since they raised me. That's a whole different problem. I told him about the post and he was mad at first but understood my position after reading through it. After a pretty difficult conversation with him, I offered the rent at cost and once he has built up his savings, we will sell him the house minus any rent he has paid over the time it takes. Some people mentioned this, rent to own. He happily accepted. 
And now it's today. Hopefully we can have a reunion after the pandemic is over and laugh about this. Edit. A lot of people are worried about the legalities. I'm having my lawyer draft it up. Everything will be in writing. So that's it for the post, guys. And I gotta say, this one had a lot of moving parts to it. I really like the one commenter pointing out the amazing irony of thinking that you don't want your family member being your landlord, but that it's still okay to ask a family member for an absurd amount of money. Like, what kind of twisted worldview is that? And then I was taken aback by the idea that nobody should own five houses coming out of left field. And the commenter is exactly right. You know, I'm an American and I would I would never expect to hear someone say that to someone else in America. And it really does speak to at least the way wealth is set up and understood in America. For better or worse, I'll let you decide that. I'm not going to take a stance on that here in a Reddit video, but I hope you enjoyed the post. As always, if you did enjoy the post, if you enjoyed the story, if you have any similar stories yourselves, we'd love to hear your reactions and your stories down in the comments below. If you liked the post, leave a like or a comment to contribute to that discussion below. It always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to see more and hear more posts from r slash am I the booty hole and other subreddits in the future, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and for listening.